a very good morning to all today we are going to start with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is birds birds are the beautiful creatures and you can see birds everywhere when you look around you can see different kinds of birds so birds live everywhere on earth and birds can be found everywhere over the world so there are birds which live on land there are birds which live in water and even there are birds which live on trees so which are the birds which live on land birds like the ostrich emu all these birds live on land these birds cannot fly but they can run faster have you heard about this ostrich egg so this ostrich egg is the biggest egg among all other birds so there are birds which live on land now let's see birds that live in water so the birds that live in water we call them as water birds there are many examples of water birds like the ducks swan pelicans all these are examples for water birds they live in water then what about birds that live on trees parrot sparrow crow all these birds live on trees they build their nest on trees so birds live everywhere so birds live everywhere on earth so there are birds which live on trees there are birds which live in land and there are birds which live in water and there are birds like the kites and vultures they spend most of their time flying in search for their food so now let's see the body parts of a bird like human beings these birds also have different body parts and each part of their body is also very very important each part of their body has some functions so these birds also have two eyes two feet two wings a tail a beak let let me explain it so first of all birds have eyes they have two eyes so you all know what is the function of an eye so it helps us to see see around the world so eyes helps us to see so you may think why do these birds don't have ears so don't don't they have ears they don't have external ears these birds don't have external ears like human beings or other animals but they do have ears so they have tiny spots which is covered within skin which is present behind their eyes through which they hear so these birds have no external ears but they have tiny spots which is present behind their eyes which helps them to hear then you may think how these birds breathe so we all breathe so all living things breathe so how these birds breathe so they don't have a nose these birds have beaks on these beaks there are two holes there are holes on the beaks through which these birds breathe okay even they can breathe through their open beaks so coming to the next part wings so birds have two wings so and what is the function of these wings they fly with their wings then they have a tail so what is the function of this tail this tail helps to balance the body of a bird during its flight so they fly with their wings and this tail helps them to balance their body then they have two legs and two feet so what is the what is the use of this two feet they walk they hop they swim with their two feet they have two feet with claws and different birds have different types of feet with claws then what about the beak birds have no teeth but they have beak so do all birds have the same type of beak no right have you seen a parrot and have you, what about a eagle do both of them have the same type of beak no right 
So it all depends on the food they eat. So what do these parrots eat? They eat fruits, nuts, etc. So their beaks are shaped according to their eating habit. So what about eagle? What do these eagle feed on? They feed on the flesh of other animals. So likewise their beaks are shaped in such a way according to their fooding habit. So different birds have different kinds of beak. Then what is most special about these birds? These birds have beautiful feathers. So there are birds with colorful feathers. And the body part of a bird is covered with different types of feathers. You know which are the different types of feather? There are three different type of feathers. That is the body feather, the down feather and the flight feather. So which are the three different types of feathers? Body feather, down feather and flight feather. So what is this body feather? So you can see the picture here. It is small and stiff and the name suggests body feather. So this cover the body of a bird. These feathers cover the body of a bird and it gives shape to the body of a bird. It gives shape. So that is about body feather. So what is the next one? The down feather. You can see these feathers are small and fluffy and this feather gives the body of the bird warm. It makes the body of the bird warm. So the next feather is the flight feather. So this one is long and flat. And you can see this flight feather on the wings, on the wings and on its tail. And this flight feather helps this bird to fly. So which are the three types of feathers? Body feather, it covers the body of the bird. This feather covers the body of the bird. And the down feather, what is about down feather? So down feather makes the body of the bird warm, keeps the body of the bird warm. And the flight feather, it helps the bird to fly. And this feather is present on the bird's wings and tail. Now let's learn about something very interesting. So have you ever thought, how do these birds fly? So these birds have some special features that helps them to fly. So if you look around, you can see birds flying around. You can see birds flying in the sky. And you can see and you closely observe, they fly very freely up in the sky without the help of their legs. So how do these birds fly? So why can't we fly? But these birds can fly because they have some special features which that helps them to fly. So the first feature is they have feathery wings. So do human beings have wings? No, we just have limbs, but we cannot fly with our limbs. These birds have feathery wings that allows them to fly in the sky. So the first feature is wings, the feathery wings which helps them to fly. So which type of feather is present on the wings of a bird? The flight feather and it helps them to fly. Then the next special feature is their bones. The bones of a bird is different from that of a human being. Do you know why? In their bones there are air pockets and this makes their body lighter. When their body becomes lighter they can easily float in the air. Bones of a bird are hollow and light. You know what is hollow? Hollow means empty. In their bones there are air pockets that makes their body lighter. As their body becomes lighter, they can easily float in the sky. So that is the another special feature that makes the bird to fly. The third one, what is the third one? These birds have smooth and elongated body. Elongated means longer. This smooth and elongated body helps them to cut through the air. So have you seen the aeroplanes? You know how these aeroplanes are modeled? These aeroplanes are modeled in the shape of bird's body. So they are smooth. They have smooth and elongated body 
through which they can easily cut through the air. So the another special feature of these birds are they have smooth and elongated body that helps them to cut through the air. And we learned that we know that birds fly with their wings. Their wings helps them to fly. And they flap the wings in upward and downward direction. So you can see the picture here. They flap their wings on upward and downward direction which makes them to move forward. They flap on upward and downward which makes them to move forward. So these are the sum of the special features of birds. So birds have feathery wings that allows them to fly and the bones of a bird are hollow and light. And then they have a smooth and elongated body. So what did we learn today? We learned about different parts, different body parts of a bird. So the birds have two eyes, two wings, a tail, a beak, two legs and two feet and each of their body parts also have different functions. Then we learned about the three types of feathers which are present on the bird's body. That is the body feather, the down feather and the flight feather. So then we learned how do birds fly. We learned about the, the special features that makes the birds to fly. So I hope you understood. So we'll meet in the next class and discuss with a new topic. So till then, thank you. Mm -hmm.